My long-term boyfriend laughed at me when I told him I was recently sexually violated. Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Recently, I had had a bad experience where someone with authority took advantage and was grouping me. Okay, um, a little warning here. This sexual assault post, so trigger warning. Without going into details, I felt humiliated, violated, and unsure what to do. I just wanted to move past it, but I had no idea what to do, and because of the power imbalance, I felt I couldn't say or do anything in the moment. All I wanted to do was call my boyfriend and talk to him about it for support. I didn't think he could actually do anything in the moment, but was hoping for some emotional comfort. We video chatted and I started to recount the story to him. To my surprise, he laughed a bit and then shrugged it off as that's just how the world works sometimes. It still doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. That some people are abusive doesn't make abuse right. I felt betrayed and it was like I was relieving the moment given the original perpetrator was also laughing at the situation when violating me. I felt like in that moment my boyfriend was siding with them over me. I shortly ended the call after and felt totally lost, confused and unsure what to do. This happened about two days ago and we haven't discussed it further. We only tested a bit since then because he is traveling and won't be home for another few weeks. Since then, I haven't been able to think much about anything else. I feel like I have lost a ton of trust in him and I don't know how we can repair the relationship, especially since he doesn't even think he has done anything wrong now and he has continued texting me business as usual. Am I overreacting? I feel both angry at him for siding with my violators and also protective that if something bad happens in the future, he won't be there for me. We've been together for years and this is a total shock to me. I can't help but think what if we have a child together one day and they needed to confine something similarly serious to him and he were to re-traumatize them by dismissing it. I really don't know what to do or what to say right now. He was the only person in the world I could trust to talk about something like this. And now I feel like I have no one on my side. But we have been together for so long and we've made our life together so much that it will feel short-sighted to throw it all away over this one incident. Does anyone here have any advice to offer? First of all, I would say you go to therapy. You say someone, you get counseled for this abuse, for this violation you went through because you're not over it. And I know it's difficult to get over it, but you just have to be counseled. Go for therapy. And then secondly, you need to be outspoken. You need to speak to your boyfriend. Tell him how you actually feel about this whole thing. Tell him you needed his support emotionally and physically. And instead of that, he laughed it off. Saying that's how the world is sometimes. Yes, we know the world is filled with evil and evil people. But that doesn't make what they do right. It takes a few to stand against evil. So why, why can't he stand by you? Why can't he be strong with you? Why can't he support you in a way that you want him to? He's your boyfriend. He's supposed to give you that emotional support. And he's lacking. Alright guys, don't forget to leave those opinions in the comment section. Give her some advice on how to handle this issue. Like and share this video.